Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to your weekly bonus love reading. I will be using a couple of different tarot decks, uh, reading some reversed cards as well. Uh, and we'll see what comes up in the cards for you Virgo. Weekly love, what's coming up for the sign of Virgo? Uh, this week, okay. High Priestess, Queen of Wands, Reverse, and the Hierophant. You've got a Leo and a Taurus maybe around you. Uh, for some of you or someone under one of these signs that could be coming in. Okay, Magician could be Aries is reversed. Okay. So Strong Fire Energy, we've got Aries, Page of Wands. Uh, sorry, Page of Pentacles. Um, you've got Aries, Page of Wands, and the Leo. So... Three out of the six cards are fire cards, um, Virgo. You may be dealing with a fire sign or this sign may be coming in around you. Um, the High Priestess, there's some sort of big reveal or announcement that's going to grab your attention, Virgo, um, or is going to grab the attention of someone you're dealing with. I think it's you. I think there's a new fixation. Um, but the Magician is reversed. So the Magician reverse can represent things like manipulation or someone trying to sort of lure you in somehow. Now, the Magician works his magic. Um, we do see the moon behind, so I don't know if this is a cancer for some of you, or it could be someone from the past or someone you've once had a past attachment to. Um, the magician is reversed, so I feel like um, normally he can represent things like good magic or, or charm or excitement, enthusiasm, but when he's reversed, he's like doing things purposely or doing things for his own or her own intentions. So Virgo, you might be doing some of this this week. Or you may be, um, you may have someone around you that's doing that, and it may be exposed because the High Priestess reveals things to us. Uh, she represents things like intuition, as does the Moon. So I'm wondering if it's something that you're actually in tune about, or you understand. Like um, there might be something going on here, and I feel like you're catching on because you are coming up as the Page of Pentacles, and you're so fixated on what this is that's happening. It's one of two things. It's either you're so distracted by this person's charm. There could be ulterior motives behind what they're trying to do or say or have or experience with you that you're too distracted or otherwise um, otherwise you're, you're turning a blind eye to it. And I say that because you can see the page of wands. He's sort of, you can see this figure wrapped up in this lasso of fire here. So the, he's gotten himself entangled into a tricky situation here. Now, the Hierophant can represent things like marriage. So for some of you, it might be more applicable if you are married or engaged or you have been talking about marriage uh, with your special person. Or um, it could even be you meeting someone who is married and potentially off limits, Virgo. So um, there may be something that you're sort of tippy-toeing around. You're tiptoeing around this connection because maybe you have a lot of attraction and you want something to happen between the two of you. At the same time, though, you know it's wrong. You know it, the reversals here could indicate that you're not taking action towards it. So the Queen of Wands is reversed. When she's upright, she represents things like taking action, taking initiative, being the first one to make the move. But she's reversed here. So there's a lack of action. Either you are not taking initiative or that person isn't taking initiative um, towards this connection. Um, it's not all manipulation and, and whatnot. The magician can represent things happening at a fast paced level. And the fact that he's reversed can indicate that things are happening more slowly. The Hierophant is the Taurus, the Taurus being the slow and steady type of the Zodiac. So I'm wondering here if you're taking a much more slower approach or if there's a message here that you do need to take a more slower approach. The Page of Wands, if he wanders too far um, or he's not careful, he ends up in these situations here because, you know, he's too hot headed or impulsive. So maybe there's a message here with whatever's happening in your love life. The message here is to exercise patience where you can. Otherwise, you can get involved in sticky or tricky situations here. The magician is known as the alchemist. He was seen as superstitious. Uh, the queen of wands has the black cat sitting around her here, um, which can also symbolize superstition. And they're both reversed. And the hierophant represents things like faith, um, loyalty, divinity. So I don't know if this is like paranoia and that's coming up as reversed. So it's either someone's giving you a reason not to be paranoid or someone's potentially learning to trust you. 
Um, so there might be more trust in this relationship. The high priestess um, also represents things like faith and wisdom, much like the hierophant. And these monks place so much trust and, and um, idolatry in their leader. So there could be a growing amount of trust for some of you or establishing trust. Um, and maybe if you've noticed things have been a little bit awkward or you, you might notice things are going on, maybe this whatever it is that's happening around you, Virgo, is actually someone learning to trust you or you learning to trust them. Sometimes things need to happen in the physical for us to get to that level of trust. And I think that's happening for some of you. Um, the high priestess, the black and white pillars, this can be divine masculine, divine feminine coming together, can rule things like pregnancies. Um, now, there could be unexpected pregnancies that perhaps you didn't plan or, you know, the initiative wasn't there, the plans weren't there, but it just so happened to happen that way. So for some of you Virgos, it can be a case of expect the unexpected, but she can represent like a very motherly um, figure. So it could be something about family or tradition because the Hierophant is very traditional, very set in his ways. So the notion of tradition is also coming up. Could be that someone wants to apply some sort of tradition with you. You may not be ready, vice versa. That person might not be ready for the traditions that you would like in that relationship or the things you'd like to do on a habitual basis with that person. So that could be reversed. But it'll definitely have your attention there's two pages here. One page is you, one page is another person. So there might be someone, if this isn't you, Virgo, there could be someone around you who's currently involved in something here. Um, it may or may not be involving you, but it could impact your connection somehow. Uh, so they might be tied up in a few things. You can see he looks tied up. So it could be like caught up in something here. So something's going on maybe for you, maybe more so for your person. And it's going to be distracting, I think, in the relationship uh, this week somehow. I will leave it at that, Virgo. So thank you again so much for watching. Um, of course, I absolutely appreciate all your viewership.